bricks and stones. Look at the old stones cold in mind, warm in the sunshine. How can we breathe life into them? Who laid them thus? Who mixed the mortar white and what smoked it grey? See them in the walls and in the houses and in the works derelict. What men sat around the fire brick half at break from work to talk of what? See the brick as grey as a corpse, eyes blank, looking at your inquisition. We gone, be gone. What Billy can spat dust and tea in denigration of their lot? Who laid the wall slag stones in order? Who shining hands with bloody cuts? Was it this way or that, that they were laid like that? Who were the men and of what did they chat those days on days? Then see the piling of a house collapsed away on the other wall. We trace the chimney flues bifurcations. Who sat at that fire toast or flat iron casting a shadow on the shining brass? One room to this, which was that? One to another room, the parlour or kitchen hall or scullery oven, one the bedrooms one, two and three. Life orbs dangling on a brick red Christmas tree. Who ordered the stone built? And who took the men to task? And who supervised? And who carried and cut and fetched? All our questions echo back. Stone blank, they look at us. Not a blink as a spider in the crack wraps a fly as dead as the men who laid the stone just like that. Did they place their thoughts, their sweat and their tears just here and there? And did they see us seeing them in their stones and not seeing them recalling? Recoiling even at such a thought, hobnail boot minds and firm muscle hands continuum. But they were men in the works long gone and the women polishing homes, children laying meaning on the stones, often horribly grim. The stone cannot be dead, for life hands placed them where looks said there is best and looks best and so is best. Once placed the manner described the man who walled his world in stone. Even the red brick housing estates were like one another. The men who laid them were not indifferent. See the sky-high chimney stack that killed a man for every many bricks. It took a life for a life on that power station altar. Or the stone dress damp in the railway culvert drains with scarce a crack between them. Living stone and on and on. I drone and drone looking at the stone and I see the ascent of man and of woman. Inscribe the smooth tombstone that a man has chipped away. Place your hand on the stone and embrace another day.